Hello again, college football fans. I'd like to talk about the fact that Will Anderson was snubbed from the Heisman finalist list that was released uh, a couple nights ago. And uh, I'd, I'd like to start by saying that I don't have a whole lot of dogs in the race uh, when it comes to the Heisman finalists. I mean, being a fan, uh, everything about being a sports fan is pretty much irrational because you're, you know, pinning your your uh, attitude and your hopes and your, you know, uh, how you're going to enjoy your following week based on, you know, the activities of people that are not you and, and, and something that you're not involved in at all. And, uh, you know, so everybody kind of gets to decide how they are going to be a fan. And one of the things that, you know, I, I just, I guess I didn't decide, but it's just how I, how I became, uh, the, the individual awards, uh, weren't very important to me. Um, I don't feel like I can celebrate in those with as much conviction as I can a team thing because, you know, teams, uh, traditionally in this country, the team, you know, if a team wins a championship, it's celebrated celebrated by the, the city or the community or, you know, whatever entity it's representing. And, you know, so when Alabama, the University of Alabama, I'm, a, I'm an Alabama alum, I'm an Alabama native, born and raised in the state, so, you know, I feel like <laughs> that... You know, when Alabama wins, I can I can celebrate you know with a with a conviction, almost like I was a part of it you know and I do, but the Heisman trophies and all that kind of stuff and and the other individual trophies obviously I pull for the Bama kid if he's if he's in the running, but uh, it's never anything that I've felt all that strongly about and I I've never really understood why fan bases ha speak about the Heisman with such fervor I mean you know a lot of people talk about the Heisman like it's on the same level as a, as a championship. And uh, I've never felt that way. But that being said, and another thing, uh, I always thought it was cool, you know, in the era before Saban, Alabama never had a, a Heisman Trophy winner. And I always thought that that was kind of neat that a team with such a tra tradition as Alabama, so many championships, so many great players coming through there for so long to never have had a Heisman, I, I felt like that was kind of a cool badge of honor. And we could sort of say, yeah, you know, we we always have the best team. We may not have the best player, but it, this is a team sport. So, you know, it was sort of a, a cool thing for Bama fans to, to, talk, to talk about amongst themselves. And then, of course, Saban has come, and uh, everything has changed since then. We've got three now, and we're going to have four. Um, but I thought this was interesting because I've noticed a theme – from the media, uh, not the playoff committee. The playoff committee has always been Bama centric, Bama fans. Not Bama fans, but you know they they've always given Bama a benefit of the doubt. But you can see, and and the media. It seemed like for a while when Saban came and it started, and and maybe the first three national championships, we were kind of forgiven for a little bit. You know, well, it's been a while since they've been good. They hired a great guy, and uh, here they are on top of the college football mountain again. And so we were given a little bit of a pass to begin with. And, uh, but then the 15 championship happened and it was like, okay, there's definitely a Bama fatigue that's setting in among the sports writers because, you know, most of them are, are Midwest guys. You can, they're all so happy about Michigan. And, um, and that's the point that I'm making is Will Anderson, this, this was sort of a shot over the bow from the media to Alabama, in my opinion, the fact that they put in Aiden Hutchinson and not Will Anderson, if it had been another running back or another quarterback or, you know, any other position, but the fact that it's a pass rusher with, you know, clearly worse stats than Will Anderson. I mean, yeah, he's good. He's a great defensive end. Uh, he should be, if there's a defensive end award, and there is, he should definitely be on it. He should definitely be on the short list. But to say that, you know, I mean, the Heisman is for the best player in the country. And uh, to say that this kid, Hutchinson, is better than Will Anderson, which is what they're saying by uh, putting him on the ballot and, and leaving Will Anderson off, I just think it's pretty clear that the Bama fatigue among the media has has definitely transitioned into crimson contempt. Uh, they're sick of it. They're sick of Saban. They're sick of Alabama. Uh, you know, Alabama's never really been a media darling in the first place. Uh, you know, there's a the history of college football goes back a long way, and um, 
you know, Alabama has always had to sort of uh, elbow out the Notre Dames and the Oklahomas and USC's of the world. And you can see that the media is so excited about Lincoln Riley going to, to USC. They love it when the big markets are good. And I totally understand that. And, and, and the fact that ESPN has uh, really ridden the Georgia narrative all year long and kind of undersold Alabama as much as they could, I understand that. ESPN has the playoff games. They have the national championship game. They want people to tune in. People tune in if it's in doubt. People tune in. And now people, I mean, for years now, people tune in to see Alabama lose. You know, Alabama gets ratings now just because, you know, the eyes of hate are, are looking down on them and wanting wanting to see the, the Crimson Dynasty fall, finally. And uh, But, you know, that that aside, that point aside, I can understand why ESPN would want to keep the the Alabama dominance a little bit under wraps because, you know, if you just talk about how great they are all year and how, yeah, they'll probably pull it together at the end and win another championship, people are going to lose interest. Uh, at least that's their perception, I think. And uh, so that I get. But uh, this whole Hutchinson instead of Will Anderson on the Heisman finalist list, this is a clear shot at Alabama and uh, a clear example of the contempt that the media is having for the for the Crimson Tide nowadays. And obviously I love it. Um, you know, they couldn't leave Bryce off. That would have been too too obvious. Um, but And he'll win it because if he doesn't win it, that's just too obvious. He's so obviously. And, you know, another thing that I've thought about all year is they waited until the very last moment. They waited until they had no other choice. To me, Bryce Young has been the clear Heisman favorite for, you know, since the beginning of the year. Pretty much since the Miami game. I mean, C.J. Stroud definitely, after the Michigan State win for Ohio State, he was definitely the only person that could have legitimately entered into the conversation with Bryce Young. But you've heard this from the media all year long. Well, there's not a real clear-cut Heisman winner. There's not a real clear-cut Heisman favorite in this season. And, you know, I think all of us Bama fans are sitting back thinking, Bryce Young is not the clear-cut Heisman favorite right now? I mean, but then, you know, after the Iron Bowl comeback and what he did against Georgia, it's just you can't – you cannot even uh, – there's no – uh, benefit of the doubt left for the the media. They had to put him in, but I just thought it was interesting and something to point out and a fun little uh, a fun little thought exercise uh, to show that yeah uh, the media is sick of of the crimson wave and uh, but you know I, I think that you're just going to have to continue to take your medicine until that little guy <laughs> decides that he's going to retire and uh, you know that may be sooner rather than later. Um, I think he, he, you know, if Saban is the kind of guy that I think he is, I think that he's probably already, now, obviously, he's a laser-focused guy on the moment and on the task at hand, but you know that with Bryce Young as his quarterback, and you know he's going to have to come back for another year, I'd be surprised if the idea of three in a row hasn't uh, crossed Nick Saban's mind. He got so close and had it ripped away in such a, a violent manner with the uh, kick six back in 2013. Um, it, you know that that has to have crossed his mind uh, while he's laying in bed at night. Obviously, he would never say it out loud, probably not even to, to his wife. But um, I'd be surprised if, re if he retired at the end of this year because of that, because I know he would love to, to get that three in a row. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised because of how giddy and happy he's been this year. I mean, he's been so happy and animated and smiling and after the Iron Bowl win and, and the Georgia win, uh, just really uh, cordial and gregarious with the media, complete departure from his entire career. So, you know, that's something to keep an eye out on. But, uh, yeah, I'll be coming up with some more uh, random thoughts as the, uh, you know, this lull that we have before the bowl season begins. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that uh, that we can see each other again very soon. Thank you.